my name is Tracy and I teach hairdressing and barber. My student is individual and their individual needs. We work with them, we find out how they learn best, first of all, and then try to accommodate that so that whenever they're in class, it's a pleasurable thing and they enjoy coming to class. It has to be fun as well and learning through fun and through and actively taking part in the class. Well, I've been here for 12 years and a big part of it has been in placement and it's something we always try. Sometimes at the start they're not ready for a placement, which is fine, we're getting them job ready. But you're watching when they are, you're trying to encourage them and you know give them the confidence to go out into a placement because that placement, nine times out of 10, is keeping them on. And then they'll go on to their apprenticeship, their level three, and then they have the experience and the knowledge, everything behind them. So nine times out of 10, they get a job. Well, health and safety kind of runs alongside every unit. It's not just one on its own. Um, there's different aspects with PP, and everybody knows what PP is now. Um, but they kind of start off with their shampooing and their blow drying, and kind of upstairs and going onto that side, and then reception, how to take appointments, and then moves them on then into their colouring with their foils all over colours, balayage, and then on ahead onto their cutting. But it depends really on the student how quickly they move through that. One student could maybe struggle for a couple of weeks with the shampoo and the blow drying, or maybe longer. Another student could come in and straight away pick up the shampoo and blow drying. So you're going with that student and their journey. You're not holding them back to waiting everybody else in the class. They all start at the same line, but inside about two months, one's doing one thing, one's doing another. So you're not teaching a class of one thing to the whole class. You're teaching to the individual. So you're not holding anybody back and you're not putting the other person under pressure thinking that, well, I can't shampoo and blow dry yet, and now I'm getting moved on to colour. We will go with their pace. If it's something that they're interested in, and normally in hairdressing and barbering, it's a passion. Or as they say in hairdressing and barbering, it's a way of life, it's not a career. And anybody that wants to do hairdressing and barbering knows that that's how they feel. You know, and they know they want to go on to it. They're not kind of sitting in the borderline going, do you want to do this? They know they want to do it, but sometimes they might be a wee bit scared because they could think, mm, maybe I'll not be that good at that. But it's reassuring them that it will go with their pace and that we're here to support them and help them as much as we can.